In this video, I'll be talking about liquid language. Liquid language is an open source template language. Now, in this uh, set of video series, which I'm going to create in the future, uh, I'll be covering various artifacts available within liquid language. So liquid operators, liquid objects, what is liquid, how to use liquid, and how to use liquid in power pages to inject dynamic content so all this will be coming in the upcoming videos now to start with basically liquid is an open source templating language it is uh, created by shopify and it is primarily used in power pages for rendering dynamic content uh, it is used to create web templates as well uh, basically, the Liquid language enables developers to inject dynamic content into your pages. Now, when you start utilizing Power Pages, you may come across a situation whereby you will be exhausted with uh, various controls available within the application. Now, there are some set of controls which are ready made out available out of the box and that can be configured using the user experience design. Uh, but there might be some situation whereby you may need to uh, delve further deep into the code to render some content. Uh, basically, liquid language is used for user experience, data filtering, conditional display of contents, and many other functionalities. Where is uh, the liquid code being used? in power pages so basically in liquid code are being used to add dynamic content directly to the copy field of a web page or it is used to create custom web template or it is used to create website header or a primary navigation bar or just add dynamic content to the content snippets now these are some areas through which you can use liquid but there are more uh, sections within power pages whereby you can utilize liquid uh, if you understand the fundamentals of the liquid language now to start with let's let me jump into the demo so this is a simple power pages site which i have created and uh, it has a set of pages uh, i've written some sort of liquid code so i'll just give you an introduction basically this will be just a very high level introduction i won't go much delve uh, into the deeper aspects of the liquid language but then in the upcoming videos i'll be targeting each and every entities and try to get you uh, on uh, the liquid language functionalities now basically liquid is an open source template language integrated into power pages it is used to add dynamic content to web page and to create a wide variety of custom web templates now if you see this navigation page over here uh, i have created a lot of pages over here so i have created uh, a page named as all objects page object user object so these are some sort of pages in power pages which will demonstrate the functionality of various aspects of the liquid uh, programming language so liquid has a liquid operator it has a liquid type it has liquid conditional operator it has liquid objects it has liquid tags uh, and uh, web templates which can be utilized using the liquid code and also you can do a lot of other things as well using the code components so to start with so take for example now this is your page now here what are the things which you can do so you can add a text control you can add a button you can add image video card gallery form multi-step form list uh, space uh, iframe flex container breadcrumb power pi component and there are custom components which you can add to power pages site now think about a scenario whereby you want to display the logged in user details now this is not available using the ready-made controls available out of the box or maybe if you want to generate a table uh, with some dynamic content in it now for all the other aspects which you cannot do directly from the user interface or the gui you need to navigate to the code so if you click on edit code over here you will be uh, navigated to visual studio code on the web now here in visual studio code on the web you will see the backend code of power pages now 
once it loads so you can go into any of the page so if i navigate so let me click cancel over here now say let me navigate to the page object page okay so this is a page object page now if i navigate to page object page so let me open the page page object now here if you see i have written a lot of liquid code over here now just to give you a simple example if you just focus on this component what it says is page dot title so page is an object which you get when you load a power pages page within the browser now page object has some properties which you can extract so there is something called as page dot title then there is something called as page dot url and there is something called as page dot title dot size now if you focus on these three components you will be able to extract this information using the liquid code now this information cannot be extracted somewhere else like you cannot use just a ui to perform this operation so to if you want to see the output of this let's go into the power pages side and see the output over here so it says page object big title set by girish and page url is page dash object so basically it is giving you the name of the page and the title of the page and also it gives you the title size which is 35 so if you count this characters it will count to 35 now from where did i get this page title okay so if you load this page so if i just load this page so let me go ahead and open this in desktop mode as you see over here this is the page title now this is basically extracted using the liquid object so this is page object with title set by Girish. and if you see the page url it says it is within all dash objects and page dash object path now if you see the navigation pane over here this is all objects and this is page object right now from where do you get the path is basically if you go to page settings you see the partial url it says page hyphen object and here all hyphen object if you go to page all objects you will see all dash objects so this is how the path is formed so all dash objects slash page dash object and this is what is getting rendered over here so we are just looking at the first three example title url and title size now from where do you get the page title so again uh, if you are familiar with power pages backend systems or power pages management you will be able to see various information or the various artifacts available within the power pages site now here uh, if you navigate to the pages or the web pages then you will be able to see the information now if you go into the web pages and if you filter down to the specific site now, now the, my site name is philadelphia so you need to click on web pages and then you go into the website filter by philadelphia apply and then you need to go into that page object so if you see this page hyphen object this is the page which we are talking about and from here uh, if you just scroll down here you will see all the various information like page options miscellaneous uh, and if you go into page hyphen object here you will see the parent pages all objects now from here you have something called as a content page you can actually navigate to the content of that particular page object and then from there uh, basically I have this page object as a localized content and if I click on it I can see the HTML of that particular page and here you will see page title page object big title set by Girish now this is what is getting rendered now why I'm showing you this example is because uh, it's a power of liquid language what it does is like it can go through your backend and try to extract the information now this is just a simple example using the page object but as i mentioned to you in the site i have various things like i have entity extraction or the table or the form or the list or the view extraction uh, i have this page object user object entity object request object and then you can use various filtering to filter out various uh, programming constructs uh, like url type string math list escape date array 
uh, and then you can do various other things using iterations as well so you have a cycle you have a for loop so these all these are the power of uh, liquid language through which you can programmatically uh, use the various objects or the properties available within the liquid once it is connected to the power pages site you can extract the backend component be it like a site setting site markers content snippets uh, web pages web templates and many other things so this is just an introductory video but then uh, in the upcoming videos i will be delving into each and every topic so that you understand liquid to the fullest we'll be taking object we'll be taking entity we'll be taking various other filters available within the power pages application uh, and then we will go through each and every aspect of that component in more depth so that's it for this is just basically an introduction on how to use liquid within power pages site now if you are pretty much new to the uh, power pages ecosystem then uh, what you can do is like if you click on new page so i'm just create a new page and i'll call it as uh, december now if you want to write a simple liquid what you can do is you can just go into the back end so how to go in the back end is like you click on edit code right and if you click on open so here it will open the back end uh, application now as you see over here this is a back end application and now uh, if you go into the code of various pages you can navigate to the code of various pages now i've already opened all this thing let me close this now we have created this december now let's open the html now i'm opening the html let me get rid of this div and here we can write the liquid code now the liquid code can be written using this convention like say percent percent and then the liquid code goes over here or when you are um, displaying some information you can use this double curly braces and then this information gets rendered now let me give you an show you an example like say if i use this example uh, here i will say i want to display the page title so i'll just write page dot T-I-T-L-E. Okay, so this is one of the example. Now, if I want to display something else, I will just say, say user dot, uh, say full name. So the person who is logged into the system. And in between your liquid code, uh, feel free to add HTML as well. So I'll, I can write HTML. Uh, I can write some you know, HTML text, like say, I'll just say P. Uh, this is liquid. And this is how you basically write the liquid code. Now, I'll just save this. So once you save this information, you just need to press Control S. It is saved. Next step is you need to sync. So once you sync the site, all the liquid code gets compiled. And then once it gets compiled, the web server is going to display that page by executing that liquid code. So once this is synced, we can easily go ahead into say the website. So let me refresh this website so that the December page, which we have created will appear over here. Now it has appeared over here. So if I click on December, it will show me uh, December is the page name. So this is a page title, which is available over here. Then this is the P tag, which we have written. This is liquid and this is the uh, username so get a shipple. so i'm the person who is logged into the system and that's why it is giving me this information and you can go ahead and play around with the html or the liquid tag so in a nutshell what we have done this is a html code now here we have injected liquid code we are here we have injected liquid code and at the same time we have also integrated some html code as well so that means we are uh, mixing those html and liquid code liquid code are uh, basically giving you the dynamic content now here we don't know what was the page title now this page title will differ across various pages but if we use the same code in different page this particular html will never change this will always remain the same but then that's why we call this html component as a static component and the liquid component as a dynamic component. Now, dynamic component means this will render 
uh, on basis of how the which on which page or which context it is getting run so if a if tom is executing this code it will show tom's full name if girish is executing this code it will show girish's full name and if you are uh, loading from page one it will show you page one if you are loading from page two it will show you page two but this text will always remain the same and that's why it is called as a static text so that's it folks many things more will come uh, in the upcoming videos so stay tuned thanks for watching